Hello everyone, I am back. Brooke Baker, otherwise known as the girl in the Halo. Obviously not in the Halo anymore. I'm in the Autobot Nerva brace that I have been in for the past four weeks. I see my doctor tomorrow and hopefully he will tell me I get to officially take this off for good. After that, I will be rolling into physical therapy. If not... I'm looking at either one to two more weeks in this brace, but I'm extremely hopeful I'll, I'll come out of the brace. I've been feeling really good, um, pain only persisting at night when I'm trying to sleep, um, and I'm hoping I can get some good physical therapy through the VA, because if a lot of you don't know already, I am a veteran too, so I'm going to take advantage of some of those programs they offer. I have to admit, I am kind of sad in a way, as crazy as it sounds and as badly as I want to take this off and look normal again. I'm kind of sad. It was like when I got my halo off. I'm like, I, I came out of my situation the way I did. If you're just watching this video now, I was seven weeks in my surgical halo which was screwed into my skull. I'm doing a skin treatment program now. I left my other tape, my 3D silicone tape in my apartment. I'm at my boyfriend's house right now. So don't mind the band-aids. Babe, how do you feel about me possibly getting this brace off tomorrow? Well, I'm beyond excited. <laughs> I really hope that you get it off tomorrow and that you can get back to your life. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>
the doctor even said, he's like, you know, I was really excited to get you out of the brace, but ultimately we just want to make sure that you are safe and you take it slow. Because the last thing we want to do is have you tweak your neck over something small happening and then maybe you have to go in for surgery again or we've got to put you in the halo like fuck that excuse my french but i do not want to be back in that thing so four more weeks guys i can do this thanks for following me i know it's really easy to slip into that mindset of like shit i gotta wear this thing for four more weeks like this sucks but ultimately, if you're going through the same thing, maybe your doctor told you he wants to extend you in a brace or the halo or a cast or anything like that, just know that eventually someday after physical therapy and everything, you will be back to your normal self. You'll be able to do those things again. Some people are not that lucky. You know, some people don't get a walk away from an accident and they're not as fortunate. So you just have to take uh, the doctor's advice, whether you like it or not, with a grain of salt. And just be super proud of where you are at in that moment. Like right now, I'm so happy that I'm in this brace versus the surgical halo. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure I can get out of this thing safely within the next four weeks. So once again, I really appreciate anyone who's following me. If you're going through something similar, just stick it out. Stay positive. If you have negative emotions, negative emotions are not bad. You need to make sure that you still recognize those feelings because some people get caught up in, oh, just be positive, be positive, be positive. Well, you know what? Negative emotions, sad emotions, they're human emotions too, and they should be recognized and they you should let them happen freely. You know, they should just flow within you. You shouldn't feel negative and be like, nope, I need to be positive. Even, I mean, yeah, that's a great thing to do, but all the time, it's not necessary. So just recognize those feelings. They are valid. You can feel frustrated and sad and mad, but just don't internalize them. Just look two years from now. This thing that I'm stressing over, that I'm mad over, or whatever, if the answer is no, then just drop it and stay positive. Have a good day.